Hey guys, Paul Lynn here, talking a little bit about PLC programming and something that uh, a lot of people that either have been already programming for a while or even people that are just starting off, something they want to know is they've only been on one side of the fence or the other and they say, what's the difference between PLC programming and computer programming? Whether that be things like web programming or software development or you know games or anything else it all kind of has very similar programming when you get right down into it c plus plus java python uh, you know node red all these things they all kind of once you learn one jumping from one to the next they all kind of work very much the same way and on the same principles, right? Some are better in some areas than others, but it's all kind of the same thing. I'm even if I'm painting with a bit of a broad brush. But whereas you look at PLC programming, ooh, now that's a very different animal. It looks and works and behaves nothing like all these computer programming languages, right? So that's the question is I've been doing one and I'm curious about the other, or I've been thinking about one, but maybe I think I should go the other way instead. So let me talk to you just a little bit about the differences, okay? One big difference is when you talk about computer programming, you have a world of options available to you. I mean, it's a much, much bigger career field. There are so many different ways you can go. It would be silly to try to even name, you know, 10% of them. But, you know, just a few, you know, you could be doing web development. You could be doing front end or server side technology. You could be doing something like, you know, game programming. You know, a lot of people think games are kind of a rock star career field and without maybe fully appreciating the realities of the job, that's a direction they want to get into. There are, you know, cell phones, um, all the different apps and games on cell phones. You know, some of those are developed by companies uh, full of teams of people that, you know, are paid millions of dollars. There have also been very successful apps and games developed by individuals sitting at home. So, you know, mobile development, that's an excellent area. There are just so many different things you can do with computer programming. But when you talk about PLC programming, it's really just programming PLCs, okay? So it's a lot simpler, it's a lot smaller of a, an area. It's also a lot easier to master and get on top of the field. When it comes to things like job opportunities, you know, obviously if you're willing to go someplace where there's industry, there's manufacturing, then it's going to be much easier for you to work in PLC programming. Whereas if you're in computer programming, you can pretty much be anywhere in the world and there's work for you. You can work remotely just as easily as you can work locally and more and more there are computer programming opportunities once upon a time. And remember, I'm an old man. You know, I can remember once upon a time when computer programming opportunities only existed in large cities that had, you know, a few million people. Whereas now, you know, your smaller little towns and, and villages have opportunities for computer programming or web development or some flavor of computer based programming. So, now it's everywhere. It's really hard to, to throw a rock and not hit a couple of companies that are hiring computer programmers before that rock hits the ground. Also, money. There's a ton of money to be made on either side of the fence. A computer programmer working as an employee or a, an independent contractor is generally going to make a bit more money than a PLC programmer is. That's a fact. The reason is because that computer programmer usually has to have a lot wider breadth of knowledge 
and generally, you know, pretty good experience as well. But whereas the PLC programmer really just has to learn to program that PLC and make it do what it, they want it to do, uh, those computer programmers need to have, you know, they need to know database programming and architecture. They need to know front-end technologies. They need to know back-end server technologies, uh, multiple different languages and uh, different markups and all kinds of different aspects. Uh, it, it's actually pretty intense. There's really a whole lot that goes into computer programming. So definitely PLC is easier to learn, but when you're talking about working as an employee, there are fewer opportunities out there and you're going to make less money. That being said, where the two kind of even out is once you go independent and you decide to start your own company, now it's actually a little easier to succeed as a PLC programmer than a computer programmer. Uh, because in computer programming, there's a lot more competition, it's a lot stiffer, uh, and in PLC, nope, uh, once you get in and once you can get the job done, it's really just a matter of winning the bids and executing the contract as efficiently as possible. And if you expand and add a few employees, that uh, PLC programming, that automation firm, can earn every bit as much money as that IT firm or that computer programming firm. So hopefully that kind of gives you an idea of some of the differences between PLC and computer programming. Obviously, I'm not trying to get into the, all the details of how the languages work and you know whether this is object oriented or that's not. That's more technical and is irrelevant really when you think about it what matters is how is this going to affect you how what is this going to do for your career how much money is this going to put in your bank account right so that's one of the big things is what kind of opportunities are available to you what sacrifices are you willing to make to get into computers you're going to have to study a lot more. You're going to have to be constantly learning and staying up on new technologies. Uh, if you go into PLC, you're going to have to be willing to live where the industry is and where the, you know, the production is actually happening. And if you want to get into that big money, you're going to have to be willing to go independent, start your own company and you know, build up to that level. That's it. That's what I've got for you. That's the real basic, general, high level, bird's eye view of the differences of PLC and computer programming. I hope that helps guide you as far as which direction you want to go. There really isn't a wrong answer. There's a ton of money to be made on both sides of the fence. It's all just a matter of figuring out what's best for you. If you decide PLC is the way you want to go, definitely check out plcdojo.com. That's where I teach PLC. And I have never seen a better, faster, more effective place or way to learn PLC than mine. If I had seen a better way, I would improve mine and you know adapt to what I saw and make it even better. But nope, to date, this is the way to go. Over 80,000 people have learned from my courses. If PLC is the way you want to go, man, you can't go wrong at plcdojo.com. That's what I got for you. That's it. If you like what I'm doing, subscribe to my channel because I'm going to keep doing it. There's more useful stuff to come, so stick around, stay tuned. And hey, thanks for watching today. Take care and cheers from Bolivia.